For thousands of years, gold has been seen as this symbol of stability and wealth. And when you look through history from the Egyptians to the Mesopotamians, that hasn't changed. And I don't think that's changed in 2024. Many would argue in the current global economy, we need a stable asset. So in this video, the question is, is gold a worthwhile investment? Is it even an investment at all? I'm gonna go find some gold experts to find some answers. So let's talk about gold as a safe haven, because when we talk about investing, gold has always been seen as this safe asset. But did you know that physical gold has a risk-free status the same as cash? Now, the reason for this is because of something called Basel III, which is essentially a framework which was created to make sure that the banks held more stable assets versus riskier ones. And under Basel III, physical gold coins and called bars were reclassified from a risk tier three to a risk tier one, the same as cash. And for the purpose of what we're talking about today, gold bars and gold coins, that's a really interesting point to consider. So here's a quick question for you. Would you know how much a gold bar or a gold coin costs? We're gonna go ask the general public, see if they can guess. This is an ounce of gold. How much do you think this ounce of gold is worth? An ounce of gold, uh, roughly, I don't know, I'm guessing about a few hundred pounds. Would you be able to guess how much this gold little bar here is worth? Um, no. <laughs> Should I guess? Uh, what you think? Around 10, 10 pounds? Would you be able to guess how much this little piece of gold is worth? Uh, let's see, that looks to be close. To, is that an ounce? Yes, yeah, one ounce, so about $1,800 Canadian. Is valued at what it's worth? More than my entire life. <laughs> Give me a number. Um, let's say 500 million. So let's bring this into the context of 2024. We live in a world right now where inflation is high. And you all would have noticed this in your household bills. I certainly have it in my energy bills at the cost of living. And typically when people think about gold, they think about gold as something they hold in high inflationary periods. And whilst gold does perform extremely well in those periods, when you look at the numbers, it also returns very, very well in low inflationary periods as well. Now, past performance is no indication of future performance, of course, but even when you compare gold to the US dollar, which is the world's reserve currency, you can clearly see on this chart right here how much more the value of gold has grown over the past 20 to 30 years. And for me, that puts gold in a completely different category onto its own. So to better understand gold, I'm gonna go visit a company that has been recently voted the 81st fastest growing company in the UK and the number one fastest growing company in mining and metals in the UK by the Financial Times. I'm gonna sit down with the CEO, Paul Withers. Paul, thanks for inviting us in. You are obviously the gold expert, so I've got a ton of questions which I think people will be interested in. But first and foremost, I'd love to get an understanding of why anyone would consider physical gold as a potential investment to, to begin with. Good question. Firstly, my opinion on gold, I don't actually view it as an investment. Okay, interesting. I see it as wealth preservation. Okay. It's the number one asset for wealth protection. It's a physical asset that stood the test of time. It's been around for 5,000 years. Mm. You know, there's nothing else in the world that has had that level of success over that period of time. So from a point of view, why would anyone buy gold? When you look at the economy right now, yeah, do you think it's in a healthy place? Well, that's an interesting one, isn't it? Because when you look around the globe, I mean, in the UK, we just announced that we're actually in a recession. And I think certainly from listening to people who watch my channel, a lot of them are looking for alternative ways to put money away without the associated risk. And I think when you look at the global picture right now, that's a natural place for people to kind of lean towards that. And I don't know, I want, don't want to take as much risk. People are very, very loss averse. So it, it makes sense that people would be more interested in gold. I certainly see that in my comment section. What yeah. about gold? What about gold? Well, I think that's why the demand's so, so high at the moment. You know, you're not alone. Yeah. And neither are the people that watch your channel. Yeah. You know, they're not alone. Everyone's looking at the economy at the moment. High inflation, record high stock market, bonds failing, mm -hmm. banks failing. I think last year, 2023, more bank failures in 2023 than any recorded year previous. Yeah. You know, so there is a lot of instability, a lot of uncertainty. Now, when you get uncertainty, what's the one thing you want? Stable assets. 
Yeah, and that leads actually nicely on to the next question. I kind of covered this a little bit earlier on, but there is this sentiment that people normally flock to gold when inflation is typically high, and we've seen that over the past couple of years. What's your opinion on that? I mean, is it just a high inflation asset that you go to? Or do, I'm guessing you're going to say it's down to the test of time because that is your experience. And I guess hist- history tells us that as well. When you look at inflation, which everyone's experiencing at the moment, it's the price of the pound that is losing its value. Mm-hmm. That's what's falling. People look at gold and they, you know, we have professionals that say it's a volatile market. And when you look at the price changes of gold, it might be 1% here, 1% there, in an extreme situation. But that's not the gold price moving. The gold price is is a constant. It's the value of the pound or the dollar that is moving up and down based on what the world world events that are currently happening. That's what inflation is. You know, it's the power of your pound today losing value over a period of time. And you don't see it. Mm. This is where... This is, this is our job, it's to try and educate as many people as we can. People hold money in an ISA, in a savings account, showing 1%, 2%, 3%, or maybe even 5% now. And they're looking at it going, 5%, that's safe. I know it's in my bank, I know it's in an ISA. Safe. But unless it's inflation beating, it's still losing value. It is. Yeah. Yeah. And even if, it's not, even if it is beating inflation by half a percent, yeah, or even 1%, that's not growing, that's not doing anything. You know, and you don't see it, that's the problem. You know, you might see a loss of, uh, well, you don't see a loss, that's the problem. You, 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 you might have 20 grand in your account today and you'll still have 20 grand in your account next year. And you see, an, yeah, over yeah. 10 years, you know, we just go back to 2000. The value of the pound has dropped 50%. Yeah. You know, that's 50% of your savings gone and you don't even see it. Yeah. And that is why I think people flock to gold in times of, inflation that's why they call it the hedge yeah. because when you do hold your funds in physical gold typically yeah on a, on a on a normal year on average over the last 20 years it's shown 10 percent per year and that's on par with you know s p 500 numbers really to be honest so here's a question for you and this may be something that you'll you experience do you find that your customers or just general people actually don't quite understand the value of a piece of gold when it comes to money, cash, in their hands. Do you find that kind of disconnect in what people think a little piece of gold or a bar of gold is worth? We have hundreds of thousands of leads. I would say less than 1% understand gold compared to other investments or savings. And that includes professionals. I think there is a huge disconnect between the knowledge and understanding gold. The only people who really understand gold are the powers that be. Yeah. You know, you look at central banks. Yeah. Central Stop banks buying are buying gold yeah. at a record level. Yeah. They have done for the last few years and they're continuing to do it. You look at the biggest nations in the world, with the exception of the UK, they all buy gold annually. So this right here, it's not worth as much as you think it is, but it's worth, this one right here, 1,650 quid. Wow. Are you surprised or? Quite surprised, yeah. Okay. So the answer is this little one ounce is actually worth 1,650 pounds. So okay. you're pretty spot on. Oh uh, no, I actually was off by about 70%. Cause... An ounce of gold at this point in time is worth six, 1,650 pounds. Well right wow, 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 that's amazing. Are you yeah. surprised? I'm really surprised, yeah, yeah, yeah. Answering how much this is worth, it's actually worth 1,650 pounds, this little gold piece right here. Oh, wow. <laughs> Here's a question for you. How many forms of physical gold can people actually invest in? Because I think that's one of the key things. There is, there's gold coins, there's gold bullion, there's bars. What's the, what are the options that people have? So the two most popular that we have is gold bars and gold coins. They're very attractive because they're a physical asset that you take delivery of, especially with us, we encourage that. Um, You can buy gold bars from one gram to 12 and a half kilos. That's called a market bar. Not necessarily uh, good for a retail customer or a business walking around with a huge bar. Believe you me, it's heavy. And also when it comes to sell it, you know, you, you, you're not breaking bits off. Yeah. You know, you're selling a half a million pound bar. Yeah. Uh, so it's very difficult, but 
on a, from a from a retail point of view, you know, you're looking at a, the starting starting entry point is one gram, which is about the size of your fingernail, all the way up to a kilo. What does a one gram actually look like? Funny you should ask. So this is a one gram. One gram bar. Okay. And this is this will show you the the purchasing power of what we're talking about in terms of currency. You go back 20 years, this one gram bar. Less than five quid, I think it's about. Okay. You know, you fast forward to today, that same one gram bar that we have here is going to cost you 50 the pounds, fridge. 10x. But that's, there's no coincidence here. Mm. You look over the period of time, the value of the pound has plummeted. 50% we've lost in, in the last 20 years in terms of the power. Mm. You know, that is, that is inflation, that's what's happened. It's devalued the value of your pound. So for you guys, obviously this is something you do on a daily basis. I think a lot of people wonder how easy or how difficult it is. Some people may not even know where to actually begin when it comes to either getting you know, gold bullion as a bar, a portion of a bar, investing in some of that, or just getting started, period. How does it work for you guys? Is it complicated, is it simple? Walk us through the process. We make it as simple as possible. That's our, that's our goal. We want to make it as easy as possible. There's a number of ways that you can, you can purchase gold. You can do it online, where you select what you want, go through the checkout process. If you've got an idea roughly of what it is, it, it, you know, you can own uh, uh, any amount of gold within five minutes. Uh, it's as simple as that. Another alternative is, is you, can, you can speak to one of our specialists. Yeah, we've got a team on hand that is always there to answer the calls. You might feel that gold is right for you, but it might not be, yeah? There is an alternative that we can help you with that. You call in, you book a call with one of our, one of our team, yeah, they will run through what it is you're looking for, what period you're looking to do that over, and if it is right for you, you know, then we can sit there and say, look, here's how we proceed. One thing I haven't asked yet, which is a big thing that I, even I didn't know was that gold coins have a very specific tax advantage as well. Can you talk us through that? Peter, you're a professional in the finance world, right? I can't tell you how many professionals, so-called fund managers, wealth managers, IFAs, tax advisors, they do not realise that gold coins, UK gold coins, are 100% tax free. There's no capital gains tax and there's no VAT. No. None at all. And it baffles me how more people do not know this. When was the last time you saw it advertised? And that is such a benefit when you consider currently the capital gains tax is going from 6,000 to 3,000. That's a, a, a significant drop in, 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 um, in the allowance. In the allowance. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's, that's, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. And I guess we're in Canary Wharf right now and we're in the midst of yeah. really the guys who control really the, the gold market per se. Um, well, they're the biggest buyers. <laughs> they control the gold and silver price. You know, I've had multiple times where, you know, the, 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 the premiums on gold and silver have dropped and risen in, in very quick succession. And when you find out why, the yeah. power of JP Morgan, yeah. it's phenomenal. Absolutely. And on, on, on that bombshell, I think it's worthwhile just wrapping this up, but this isn't the end. We are going to be back to talk to Paul about investing in physical gold in a pension, which I think will be news to a lot of people who watch this channel. That's gonna be the very next video, but for now, if you are curious about what we've spoken about here, there is gonna be a link in the description to a scorecard, and the scorecard is just gonna take you through a questionnaire, and it will help you understand whether or not gold is the right thing for you, or whether it's not. And it's not gonna be the right thing for everyone, so I'm encouraging here that you do further research to make sure that it's the right thing. But take a few minutes, click the link, fill in the scorecard, and see what you uncover. But in the next video, I'm really excited to get started because pensions, I love pensions. I worked in that building up there for five years for a pension provider and physical gold in a pension is something that even I wasn't aware of and it's actually quite exciting. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Let me know, do you already hold gold? I wanna know and how easy was it for you to actually get your hands on some physical gold. Catch you later on.